I was in the middle of my workout, decided to check my phone, went on my phone. I had already saw this post from yesterday, right? That she revealed that she was pregnant. Check my phone, check my DM on Instagram when I was, you know, finishing my cool down, my walk or whatever. And I saw a whole bunch of foolishness in my DM pertaining to the situation. And I just want to let everybody know that I am mortified. (laughs) Okay? This situation is absolutely mortifying. What's worse, it's not even just about the situation of her being pregnant by this child. He would be considered a child to her. Being that she has a child who is the same age as the person that she's pregnant by. We're going to get into it in a second. What what really, you know, took me over the edge was the way that women as a whole are responding to this situation. It's scary. It's mortifying. It, it just re, um, what's the word that I would say? It reiterates the fact that women are as far away as, that, as they could ever possibly be from their feminine motherly nurturing nature based off of the way that people have dealt with this situation so you know reality tv star uh ig model um you know all the above she is she got pregnant by a 22 year old nba star okay she is 39 years old she has a child a son It's not even like her child that's the same age as the person that she got pregnant by is a girl. It's her son. She has a son who is in the same age range. I think he's maybe one year or maybe a couple of months younger than the young man who got her pregnant. Let me just play this clip of... um, of this woman who decided to speak on the situation. The reason why I chose this video in there is because she is like a personification of all the comments of what the women were saying in the comment threads. It was too many comments. I couldn't even screenshot them or any, it was just too much. So let's hear what she has to say. I know y'all can mind y'all business, right? I mean, listen, I'm not mad at Drea at all. Drea yeah okay everybody in the uproar talking about oh my god she old enough to be his mom oh my god she his mom probably watched basketball wives and yeah his mama did watch basketball wives and you know what he probably watched it with her and that's why he went after drea he wanted some of that cougar he wants some of that cougar snatch he wanted some of that don't get it twisted listen if he wanted to pull out he would have pulled out he didn't pull out that cool to, that, that cool came in a chokehold. This is absolutely disgusting. Okay. I know that Tori Hart is a comedian or what have you. But what makes it even more disgusting, just in my personal opinion, is the fact that she has a child. So are you saying that if you are in a space that there's somebody who's the same age as your child in the future that you would deal with him? That's how okay it is. If a woman, if your son, you know, I'm not sure what what her um, her child does or whatever the case is. But if her child makes it and maybe he becomes an actor and a woman comes over there, um, obviously we know for the purpose of a bag and she is the same age as you, you're okay with that behavior? What is wrong with you guys? Like, honestly... I'm starting to feel like whenever I see the majority of women talking about certain things, it makes me feel like, am I crazy? Because I know I'm not crazy. So all y'all are drinking the same Kool-Aid? I'm confused. I'm so confused about this. How are you guys aiding or agreeing or okay with this type of behavior? But what's so interesting to me is that there's so many women in the comment section. Oh, but you know, if a man did it, if a man did it, if a man, let's be very clear. Okay, let's be let's be extremely open about this situation. 
People can do whatever it is they feel that they want to do. Absolutely. 100%. But should you, though? Should you? There's no way. If, if this same young man was around her and he did not have a NBA basketball career and if he did not have any money, do you think that she would have made sure that she procreated with this young man who, again, is the same age as her son? It's crickets. The reason why it's crickets is because that's not reality. Everybody knows that wouldn't happen. If she was on the show Basketball Wives a long time ago. To me, it seems very, um, it's obviously, there's no coincidence. You know what you're doing. It, it, it so much reminds me of that situation with Jada in August. And the reason why, because, you know, it's that same mature woman who is grown, who got kids around the same age. You know, you see this young whippersnapper. Maybe he try to push up on you or maybe he try to holler at you, you know, hit you with the quote unquote riz or whatever to see if he could bag an older woman or whatever, because he just wants to be able to say he conquered you. And instead of the conversation going in a way of like, listen, I have a son your age. That's not, stop. Instead of it going in that direction, it, it strokes your ego. Oh, yeah, you know, the young guys want me. The young guys still want me. Oh, I still got it. Because, um, you know, in this particular situation, you're still trying to compete with the younger girls. Because you still, you always want to be the it girl. You always want to be the hot one. You always be the, want to be the one that the guys are looking for. Which no problem with you keeping up with yourself. No problem with you wanting to look good and look your best. Nothing's wrong with that. But this is a stretch. In what way is this child going to help this young man in his life at this moment right now? How is this going to help his career? Whatever money he's getting, it's already going to have to go to a special place because he's going to have to take care of this child for the rest of his life. And you know that because you have two kids. This is this is this is wild to me. I'm sorry. This is wild. And this is the, one of the same reasons why I say a lot of these women that are out here right now. This is why I would never want no friends from you guys. None. Because where are her real friends at that say, girl, you look crazy. Girl, this don't make no sense. Girl, it don't matter how adorable, not cute, not fine. It doesn't matter how adorable you think he is. It doesn't matter how much, quote unquote, pressure he's applying. Your, your child is the same age as him. That's wild. It's not cute. It's not a kiki. It's not funny. It's not. When are you going to understand that you as the woman have an unfair advantage when you are going so on the opposite side of the spectrum? Let me play this clip that, you know, I reacted to, I think, maybe a year ago, a couple months ago of the same woman who's pregnant now. Of her um, her uh, statement or whatever that she lives by. Funny phrase. I feel like you could delete your fitness. Have you ever like explained like so what does that mean? Yeah. I still stand on that. Yeah. Like I still confirm that. Because yeah, like you may have been a ho back in your day. You may have slept around a bit, but like if you find that one, you're So no what makes it deleted? You just don't have to do it anymore. Yeah. After so much time it goes away. I'm not going to go too deep into that because I already did my whole reaction video. I'll make sure I clip it at the end so you guys can see it. But at the end of the day, you're saying that you used to be a 304 back in your day, which means that you have garnered a lot of experience. A lot of experience. 
the young man that she is pregnant by, his previous girlfriend, um, I believe, is three years older than him. So, of course, obviously, maybe he likes women who are a little bit older or maybe women who just have a certain mindset. Nothing wrong with that. But this, her, his mom and her probably the same age. Let's be honest, okay? The same way how, you know, uh, the last one was trying to make a joke and try to say, oh, you know, maybe he was watching it with his mama. You, that's, that's foolishness. I, don't, I, I wonder how his mama feel. I really do. But with your 304 past, you have a lot of experience. And the first thing that you do is when you're with this man, you know all the things already. Because you're light years ahead of him. Light years. You know the things that you do. I don't care what anybody says. This is a, a grand gesture of manipulation. It is. It's true. It's true. Because you know all the tips and tricks. You already know the game. You already been up, down, and around. You know what's up. He's just coming. He's literally just stepping foot into the realm of getting any kind of girl and this and that because of who he is now. That's wild. And what makes it worse is that it's not just about it being like a game or like a little, you know, you you going out and you playing around and you this and that. This is like you're bringing, you're changing this young man's life. If your child, your son that's the same age has a child right now, you're going to be a grandma and a mama. You're going to be taking care of both of them. And I have to say it again. I'm confused at where your friends are. I understand you want to support your friend or whatever, but where is anybody that's looking you in the face going, girl, no. No. What I thought was really crazy was that Drea made this post on social media after she saw all the backlash and she said, um, she reposted somebody else's post that said, get comfortable being misunderstood. Only a fraction of people will be able to truly grasp your essence. You are not on anyone else's timeline of comprehension. Also, it's none of your business how others choose to perceive you. Most high seas, you clearly let that be enough. I understand all of that, okay? I understand that social media, especially when you are on social and there's a lot of people coming for you that you want to say something that's motivating or makes you feel good about whatever it is that you're doing because um, it can bring you down or whatever the case is. I get that. However, there is no misunderstanding in this situation. It just is what it is. We can't complain about being misunderstood or that nobody gets it. It's just people are calling it out for what it is. In the wake of, 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 of it being called out about, you know, the fact that you are you have a child that's the same age and all of these things, a lot of women were trying to say, oh, well, you know, well, men do it all the time. That does not that's not going to fly. You know why? Because it's so interesting to me that women will be with a man who's their age. OK, a man who is who is around the same age as them, whether it's two years, they're, um, you know, younger, three years older. And you have women talking about, oh, no, I can't raise no man. Oh, see, I can't deal with nobody's immaturity. I can't deal with this. I can't deal with that. I'm not I'm not going to do that. I'm not about to play them games. You will emasculate the men that are the same age as you. You will talk down on them. You will say all kinds of things. Women normally strive for being that the man is is in the leadership position. He is leading. If, if you ask a lot of women, most women, OK, majority of women will say that they want to be with somebody who can teach them something. They want to be with somebody who can lead them. A lot of women who are dating men the same age as, as them feel like they cannot be led, feel like they cannot be taught anything, feel like nobody can't, you know, show them anything. They, they feel like they have to, uh, you know, they, they're more intelligent than the man that's their age. A lot of women would prefer, mo well, except for, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. A lot of women prefer to be with a man who is older than them, 
who can show them, um, you know, the ropes, show them how to how to do certain things, especially when it's a business qualification or whatever the case is. They have no problem doing that because it is easier for them to submit because they don't feel like they know more than you. There's like a certain respect level that comes with that. When it comes to young men and they see older women, in my personal opinion, I think it's all about the lust factor. It's about the imagination. It's about the play play. And in some cases, it's, just, it's, it's about what that woman can do. Get them out of a situation or ha just keeping it a, a thousand percent. That's keeping it real. But you being in a situation that you are with somebody who is the same age as your child, as a woman. It is not, um, I, it's not clicking <laughs> to me why you do not see this young man like you see your son. I know it's not your son. I don't understand why you're not seeing him in the same vein being that they're the same age. I, I can't comprehend it. I can't. I have younger cousins who come to me and sometimes we talk about, you know, advice and this and that and how it is with girls. And I'm going to tell you something right now. If I ever was talking to one of my younger cousins and they were telling me this whole situation about like an older woman or whatever the case is, I would be looking at them cockeyed crazy. I'd be like, what are you talking about? Absolutely not. What does she want with you? Why, why is she not with the men who are her age? What's the problem? What's the issue? Women are, we're supposed to be nurturing and motherly and, and, and you know, look at, at the younger men and, and, and just everyone in a certain esteem. Like we want to take care and make sure that they're good and make sure that they're okay. How it got this far is beyond me. I'm not going to lie to you. How it got this far is beyond me. It will never be the same when a woman tries to do the things that men do. It's not the same. Even if you go all the way back in the day, it was younger women marrying men who were older than them. It was easily accepted. Their families were okay with it because it was a situation where you're leaving being under our authority to this person's authority. Because you're the leader, you're the provider, you're the this, you're the that. And so we trust her with you because you look like you have that figured out. In a situation where the woman is not in the leadership role, you are now putting this young man in a position that you probably wouldn't even want somebody to put your own son in. Think about that. His life is forever changed. And it's sick to me. It's sick. Because, again, if this young man did not have any money, you wouldn't, be, you wouldn't be even be playing this game. And we all know that. That's the problem. The problem is, is that you thought it was just going to be so easily accepted. And everybody's going to be like, oh, yes, sis. Oh, my gosh. Congratulations. Oh, we love it. It's not the same. It's not the same. You see, if you would have had this situation and you didn't have a child the same age, it would be kind of bad and not so bad. But the fact that your son is literally the same age as this person, you know his favorite TV shows and his favorite this and his favorite that because you watched your son and the things that he liked. That's wild. And again, women are the furthest that they've ever been from their true feminine nature. Because everybody's applauding it. They want to get back at men so bad. They want to do what a man can do so bad. That they resort to this foolishness. And they try to just make up reasons why it's okay. Marcus Houston got married to a, a, a woman who was 
um, a couple years his junior. I don't I don't know the exact difference, but it's something similar. He married this woman. They've been married for a couple years now. They have children. They're doing whatever it is that they're doing or whatever. And social media ate him alive for it. He made that woman a quote unquote honest woman and people tore him up. Those same women are now in the comment section. Yes, okay. Oh, well, if a man could do it, men do it all the time. Why are we even talking about this? Why are we wasting time on this? I'd like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I would love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.